What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today it's gonna be a good day. We're going shopping. Uh, as you guys know in our last video, we were looking for a 4x4 5.3 truck uh, and we found one. Carlos DM'd us on our Instagram and said that he has a 01 uh, 5.3 with a cat eye front end swap and we're gonna go look at it. It has 220,000 miles on it, so it's perfect for what we wanted to do. We wanted to basically build a truck for you guys to see to install a supercharger in video um, and also tips and tricks on doing a cam fuel system, supercharger install, exhaust, all that jazz. It's gonna be a pretty cool truck with great plans and you never know, we might even give it away. So uh, let's jump right into it and let's see what we got. Remember, like and subscribe the video. We really appreciate the support and presence. We've been growing really fast. Uh, and also boostdistrict.com for all your parts needs and installs needs, give us a call and also look at our website. Hopefully we bring it home. So like and subscribe and let's jump right into it. Carlos? Yes, yes sir. Nice to meet you. Uh, so what year is this thing? Uh, 2002. 2002, you did a cat eye swap on it. Yeah. HD front end. You finally got the door panel. Yeah. The listing didn't have a door panel, but now it does. Can you pop the hood for me, please? 5.3, okay. right? Yeah, it's a 5.3. Nice. Can I step up here? Yeah. Looks all in there. Colder intake. Stock intake on it. How long have you had this thing? Four months, something like that. Okay. And you did all the work to it, like the eight, the body stuff. Yeah. You lifted it? No, I buy it like that. Okay. Now, what you think, Dane? It's looking okay. I mean, it made it. It made the drive. Yeah, it made it here. What do you guys do? You just buy and sell trucks. Mm -hmm. What else do you have? I have a older F three fifty. F three fifty. Okay. Yeah. How, do we, how do people contact you? Uh, Facebook. Facebook. Okay. Yeah. Do you have a business too? Yeah, I have a business. What do you do? Uh, gates. Gates? Oh, I need gates. Yes, and you make uh, yeah. uh, custom gates. Okay. Uh, fences. And Iron gates and stuff? Yeah. Okay. What do you think, Daniel? It's a truck. I mean, is it clean? It's not massively wrecked. Everything's leaking. Yeah, everything's leaking. Everything's there. Yeah. 200,000 miles. How? 23 years old? Do you want to? Can we go for a test drive? Yeah. Okay. Dang, power windows. So, let's see. Let me check the mileage on this thing. Got 227,000 miles. Right, so right now we're in too high, right? Checking out a couple things right now. See, like it's just dragging. It's like, right now. it's like pushing back, like traction control. Wheel just came off, like snapped it. You can't strip that. It looks like the lug nut went through the wheel. Yeah. Yeah. The lug nut went through the wheel. I don't think you can script that. You guys drive this here? <laughs> you drove this thing here. Yeah. And just in the parking lot, this thing came off. Y'all are luck. Are the other ones coming off too? Jesus. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's going through now too. Look. This one too? Yeah, look. Is that what you were feeling? Is that what you were like if they're locking up? the odds that we get a good samaritan just helping us out of nowhere so manuel this is their business uh caribou repairs right caribou fleet services so they do mobile repairs around dallas helping right now carlos and i get this uh wheel on the road look at that they're all back on the road so thanks manuel appreciate you pardon the interruption of the mishap put the wheel on it paying the guy they're gonna drive it home for us so we can transfer the wheel in our shop swap the wheels i guess that's it for that we're gonna take some rollers on our way home and uh, we'll see you guys in the shop. It's done, it's done, it's done. There's road construction going on in the shop right now, so we couldn't enter. It drove fine? It drove perfect. You got, you got, you got scared in the end. You're going <laughs> super slow. 
Well, the tire hold it held up, right? Yeah. We're gonna transfer the OEM Escalade wheels on it for now, but I guess we're gonna leave it right here. We're gonna show you guys a little bit of the warehouse segments right now for what we have going on. So we're gonna show you guys right here. Now that we're back in the shop, we're gonna do a quick rundown of what we got here because we have lots of updates. So I just bought every single LSA supercharger available in the nation. Uh, it's tax season, we gotta gear up and we need to stock up. We don't wanna wait more lead time, so we hired more people uh, and we got a lot more inventory so we can try to speed up the process of ordering. So we got 65 superchargers getting delivered to us and we already have 30 over here. So all of these are leaving today. They're gonna get picked up by UPS. They just need to be tagged and ready to go. So supercharger, 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 supercharger. Oh, we also just got six um, 2014 to 2019 GM trucks. So you have a 5.3 or 6.2, L83, L86. We got supercharger kits in stock ready to ship today. Uh, we got lids in stock, fuel rails in stock, Frankenstein heads. We got Frankenstein heads for uh, M311s, Boost Monsters and Regulars in stock also. We got plenty on the shelf. We got two sets leaving today, accessory box leaving today. And uh, yeah, so if you need anything, boostdistrict.com. We got everything from LS, LT, cars, trucks, SUVs. We got everything here. Um, lastly, I wanna add something else. Um, so you guys have been following our YouTube channel for a while now. We just got, we finally found out what you guys wanna do for our Caprice build. Uh, for our 1000 horsepower Caprice build, this is what we're gonna do. We got a engine block from Dave's Park Yard. They're good people. Uh, you guys are gonna see where we picked it up from. We went to St. Louis a couple weeks ago. Uh, so we're gonna build this engine block that we got from him. Uh, and we also got forged rods and pistons from Texas Speed, also available on their website. And we're gonna put some Frankenstein heads. Not gonna show much in more information, but we're gonna show you guys how to build this from a bare block. So if you guys have an LS3, L99, L76, any LS or LT stuff, and make sure it passes all our tests and make sure it holds up for you guys it's because we know you guys are crazy you like building stuff and all full tilt so see you guys in the next one we're logging off right here